Hello and welcome to the Battle Ludi World War II playthrough. Uh, we got a small scenario over here. Uh, here you can see some landing craft heading for the beach. And it will be their job to neutralize the Germans who are uh, hidden in the village here, somewhere in these buildings perhaps. I'm not quite sure yet because I put them there last night. But I have to get past this bunker with a 20 millimeter flak on it and a 50 millimeter uh, anti-tank gun. And they're gonna have to capture the bridge, which is also guarded by a squad of Germans. And um, if everything goes to plan, there will be uh, an airborne landing somewhere here or here on the small open fields whose uh, the airborne forces will of course have the task of uh, getting uh, the bridge before the land forces get there so we're going to start with uh, British airborne landing uh, near the bridge see if they can do a turn and then uh, the Germans will get their turn and then the landings will start so we'll see what happens so I've put the uh, Horsa glider here, and I'm gonna see how much it will deviate. That's three die six in that direction. House might be too close. Seven, so it will deviate seven inches. Well, the Horsa has hit the building so now we're gonna see how much damage that will do we're gonna have to roll three of these and that's three six seven in total so there will be seven casualties for the guys coming out there uh plane can hold 24 miniatures so that'll remain 17. So this is the lineup for the uh, airborne dropping. Uh, we make them in a line in the direction that the uh, the aircraft has flown. Uh, now we have to roll uh, commander dice for every miniature to see uh, how much they deviate. Uh, very simple procedure. Just roll it. Say for the first, for the first guy, just roll a dice, and it's a zero, so he is spot on. So he landed right there. I'm gonna do this for everyone now. Well, that uh, went quite well. Uh, as you see, the larger part is uh, still in the area. And one fell off the table, so he's a casualty now. And one is here between the church and the, and the building. So, and now their first move should be to get closer together and uh, start working as a team. So it's still the British turn. Uh, they've debarked from the uh, from the Horsa, and now it's time to give them some orders. So let's see what the sergeant can do. He's got three orders. That's very good. I think I'm gonna move up there and well try to get those Germans. So the British have uh, charged the Germans there in the trench, and uh, now uh, and. In the incoming charge, the Germans managed to uh, shoot off two uh, British paras, and now hand-to-hand -hand fighting will occur. And uh, the British are charging, which gives them a plus one, but uh, they're also attacking an enemy in hard cover, so that gives them a minus one, so they are back to fives and sixes. And the Germans <coughs> normally on a five and six, but they are uh, defending hardcover so that'll give them a slight advantage and so they will hit on a four five and six so the Germans won and the Brits are doing excellent they killed four so this trench is cleared And the Brits will now take position.
and as they're now um, below their original half, they're now shaken. So for the next group of Brits, I'm going to roll the commander dice. It's again at three. So they got a number of options there because it's a bit too far to rush. So they can rally one soldier. That'll bring them down to two. And then they will move, make two moves. Uh, no, first they're gonna go in open order and then they're gonna move towards those guys. And then they're going to fire on those Germans. That's, so that's one for each rifle and three for the brand gun and two for the scan, this stun gun because he's within 12 inches of the target. And they're gonna have to roll sixes to hit. Normally five or six, but minus one because the, these guys are in cover. One. So, and now for the paras and the commander of the group <laughs> landed over there and the head commander, the commander of the, the entire airborne uh, group is over there. So I'm gonna roll for this guy. He's got one order and it should be that everybody moves towards its intended target. And that was the middle of the line there. So these guys are gonna regroup in this direction. So representing more of a unit now, they're gonna open fire on that group there. And then we have the commander still to work out. Well, they managed to kill the Germans in there. So uh, now it's up for the commander to see if he can move, move things along a bit more. No, he won't do a thing. He's pretty pleased with himself, I think. So I've uh, removed the roofs of the places where the German soldiers were hiding, also in small groups. Um, and here's their uh, sergeant. Uh, the overall commander is in that building over there, so we'll throw for him later. And uh, well, for these guys, there's not really much they can do except but shoot. Same goes for these guys. So I'm gonna see how many orders he has. Zero. Well, nothing, no initiative there from the German side. So I'm gonna just go to the shooting part and get back to you. So the 20 millimeter has had th uh, thrown a three on the, on the order dice. So it was able to uh, adjust its uh, bearings and manage to shoot down Two British uh, airborns. Uh, these guys missed. These guys did one casualty over there, and these guys missed as well. The others, well, they're not in a position to hit anything, so uh, they haven't shot. And uh, now it's time for the commander. He's also zero orders. I think the noise hasn't awakened him yet. So now we're gonna start with the landing and first of all, of course, the bombardment. And in the rules it says you have three of these uh, six inch plates and you can put them where you want them to land and then roll the dice to see how much it diverts. And it's a zero, so it's spot on. Uh, that's bad news for the Germans over there because, uh, well, it hits on a three plus. Uh, we can have a little bit of debate whether these guys are in open or closed order, but uh, they're in hard cover, so it's gonna be on a four plus, and it's five guys. Three. Second one, the one on this house, and it deviates 
one inch to that side so there's all three of them say they're an open order and in uh, hardcover so that's uh, five plus whoops that's two of them and the next one would be in uh, because I have a godlike uh, view it should be over there but uh, suppose i wouldn't know that it would be on that building or it would be on this building but i know they're both empty so that's the for the third one trying not to cheat on myself here first boat three orders it moves six inches so that's more than enough they're there the hatch goes down and the infantry there's one move, so they'll move six inches forward. Second boat. It's one, it's enough. Very short C here. And for the crew, they're gonna do one move forward and then go into open order. And now for the commander. He's got one order, so he's moving in a, also six inches forward. So these guys are still in closed order, and I know it's a bit silly, but because uh, closed order was, wasn't really used in the Second World War, but you might think of closed order as guys bunching up together, and they're just too close for comfort to each other. And uh, as you can see, this looks a lot better, and you'll have a minus one when, it, when you're shot at. On the other hand, the enemy will have one extra dice when shooting at these guys. And these two guys will take a shot at the bunker over there. Well, the crew here decided to shoot at the machine gun over there, and apparently three sixes. So that's bye bye for the machine gun. Second turn, first power group, uh, the guys who are shaking over here. Three, that's very good. They're gonna rally one of their guys. And now they're uh, at six, so, and the starting point was 12, so they're not shaking anymore. That's good news. Um, and they're probably gonna open fire on these guys because that's i think the only thing they can do so they got uh one two two rifles a brain three rifles and the stands are gonna be short because they got a 12 inch range so that's three rifles and a brain and they should be rolling sixes nope None there. These guys. Oh, I'll re-roll that. Oh, whoops, a blunder. They will back up one move. But they can still fire, and they did. At least those are good. And one six, so that's another German casualty. Now for these guys. Zero. Well, that's not good. Uh, I mean, they've noticed these guys, so they're probably going to open fire on those, but they're not moving. So those who were close by managed to uh, knock out two uh, Germans, and now it's up to the commander. Ooh, he's got three orders, so that's good. So he can rally one guy. And then he can order them to charge in. That might be a safe bet. And for a charge, they can have one move plus one by six. That's 11. So a lot of these guys will make it, but probably won't, uh, not all. And the German gets the fire a shot. And he hits one. So that's him. So three haven't made it in, 
two are on the first floor right up there and a lot of them made it for the german so it's probably not gonna end too well for him it's one two three four five against one well that was surprising um they didn't manage to kill him and in fact he managed to kill a brit so in this case, uh, the bridge will have to test if they will stand or run. And they run, they move one, <laughs> one movement back. Sorry for moving so much. That's one tough German. And I think he just won uh, the Knight's Cross. German turn. Um, first one we're gonna roll for the 20 millimeter. And that's a three, that's very good. Because now he can rally one soldier. He is no more shaken. He can turn his gun to the crew coming up there. And normally he gets two dice, but since these guys are um, in close order, he gets three, five or six. That's one. And the cannon. It's got one order and it's gonna fire on these guys. And that's also two dice, but he will need sixes to hit. None there. So, so now for my German Hauptmann, he's got three orders. Ah, very good. So he's gonna rally one of those. And then he's gonna move his troops here so they can fire at the British here. So he managed to uh, down one uh, British airborne. He missed and those guys made a casualty over there. So the guy just ran it is now dug under again. Oh, and almost forgot this one. One right there. And it's a five, but these guys are in open order and in cover, so no luck. The British. Two, so they're gonna go in open order and forward. Nice lot. A zero or a three? It's a two. All right. Move forward. The barbed wire will uh, half the movement, so it's basically there to slow uh, infantry down. And then the commander. One. Okay, so he's rallying these guys and following later. And these will take a shot at the bunker. And these won't fire at all, or maybe at the bunker as well. I'm not sure, I have to measure that. So these guys managed to kill two Germans here. And now this guy is all by his lonesome and he's broken. So next time his turn, he will first move. One move uh, away from the enemy towards the nearest stable edge and he will disappear. So, British Airborne Group 1. One used for a rally and they're gonna open fire on these Germans and that's with one Bren gun, two rifles, three rifles. And there's one six. So one German fell. Other group. Three orders. Wow. Let's rush him. Well, 
they didn't make it, but they managed to put an awful lot of fire into the trench and the last German succumbed to his wounds. Uh, and it was basically, it was the last rifleman who, uh, who hit him. So the north side of the bridge is secured. Now there's only the south side and the rest of the village to clear. All right, Sergeant, what do you got? Three, that's good. So you can rally a soldier. And... Well, he can charge in again. And throw a hand grenade in. Let's try that. Well, I want the hand grenade to land over there, but I'm going to see how much it deviates. Zero. There you go. Spot on. And he's going to be hit on a three plus. And it's a miss. <laughs> Amazing. This guy <laughs> has a lot of lives. So, uh, but that means that the other guys are charging in. So they have an extra one. Uh, inch for uh, movement so i'm gonna see how that works out and again it's five against one one two there's a five. Oh, he's uh, very dead now yatsi but he managed to take one with him and now for the commander he rolls a blunder well, let's see what he does. Four. It's to the right, I think. One move to the right. And he's positioned in this way, so he will move right of the model. He will move to over there. So it's not looking too good for the Germans. This guy is broken and will retreat. One move away from the enemy towards the nearest table. Actually, that's more than six inches, so this one's gone. And let me see. Those guys, they're still six, so they're still good. But these guys over there, they're part of this unit, defending the bridge. They have been broken, so they will move away from the enemy towards the nearest stable edge as well. So the only thing these guys can do is try to rally. And they do, one, but they're still broken. So what to do with these guys? Nothing, ah, oh, that's easy. Uh, so they're gonna take a shot over there with uh, three rifles. And that's nothing too bad. Now for the commander, still in his tower. He's got three, so <coughs> finally he can do something. Um, but he needs to be within 12 inch to command anything. So he's gonna have to move, I think. So he's made two moves and he says to these guys, rally. And he gets another soldier back in the in the battle. And then we have, of course, the 50 millimeter gun, which can still shoot at uh, these blokes. So they're gonna throw two dice, and it's one hit. And you can find all the stats for every, uh, practically every weapon used in the Second World War on uh, www.bellaludi.nl slash downloads. And that'll give you all the specifics. Uh, if you look in the, in the, in the rule book, there's uh, just a simple stats that says medium, heavy or light gun. And uh, what's been worked out in uh, uh, in the download section. That's free for you to use. Right, these guys. Zero, they're not moving at all. These guys, 
two moves. See if I can get them all across the barbed wire. And let's see if Lord Lovett can accomplish anything. He's got two, so he's gonna move himself forward and order these guys to move forward as well. And this group here can see the Germans over there. So they're gonna open up. So there's three hits, three casualties, and these guys are now down to four. Uh, which means they aren't broken yet, but they are shaken and that will mean they will fire with a uh, minus one So it's uh, looking pretty bleak for the Germans. So I think I'm gonna call this a day Hope you enjoyed it uh, The bridge was successfully captured by the, by the British Airborne and they've been relieved. I mean, that's that thing isn't moving, so they're gonna toss a few grenades in there and then uh, that'll be the, the end of it. And these guys will move on here and dispense with these guys if they're still there, because in the next turn they have to move one movement out of the way and they are off the table. And I'm not very hopeful about these guys. Um, anyway, so. Thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, if you like the game, uh, well, go to www.belludi.nl and see what you can find there. Thank you.